Okay, update Tuesday, July 9th. So here's my sorry looking tomatoes. I don't know what's going on with these. Hank stopped by tonight and he looked at them and he was kind of thinking the same thing I was thinking. But I'm not sure how it would be. He said it looks like they might have got hit with a chemical. And my God, I haven't sprayed my yard or anything. But uh, Hank mentioned, he goes, well, I wonder when that guy behind you sprayed. And I was like, hmm, I wonder. I wonder if I got some drift when he sprayed his beans back there. But these things just, are just, I don't know, horrible looking is what they are. Look bad. But the Romans are starting to put on a few here and there. I've got some blossom end rot starting. I've already picked a couple of them off and had to throw them out because of blossom end rot. Uh, I've ordered some some calcium to spray your plants to, to help with blossom end rot. So I'm hoping that gets here pretty soon so I can start getting those things sprayed for blossom end rot. I said Hank stopped by. I give him some stuff out of the garden. I give him a, a green pepper and a Anaheim chili. Which one is it? That one. Anaheim chili there. And he picked some cayenne peppers that were ready. And uh, so these two plants that's up up front here uh, are supposed to be bull nose peppers, which is essentially supposed to be a green pepper, basically. But uh, I see a pepper on here now, finally. And uh, that looks more like a jalapeno than a, than a bull nose, than a green pepper. Like green pepper to me. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, this is a this is that plant I picked that pepper off of last night. Took it in the house. Well, my God, there's another one of them goofy looking peppers. That's kind of well, maybe that is a bull nose pepper then, because that one there's the same way. This is that one that had that long skinny pepper on there that I picked off last night and took it in the house. It really wasn't doing too much other than growing, and I thought, well, maybe if I pick the fruit off of it, it'll trick it into putting some more on, and see what happens there. This is the one that's got them great big peppers on down there. Those things are just humongous. I think I ate all those. <laughs> Boy, those are good. I really like those Anaheim chili peppers. They are yummy. Make, make for a good sandwich, I'll tell you. And my cantaloupe. Growing like a weed. Starting to fill in this area over here nice. Trying to get it trained to fill this in over here by the peppers. And then I'll bring it out, bring it out the front here once it... Try to back up here. There you go. Try to get to fill this area in here and then I'll bring it around and out. And a watermelon. Boy, you got to do these things. You got to train these things two or three times a day. I uh, did it. I come out last night about a little after eight. It was so hot last night. You could do it yesterday. You couldn't do anything. So I, I stayed in the house till after eight and then come out here and got a little bit of stuff done. Got the watermelon kind of pulled around here and out of the way. And I had to do it again at lunchtime. And then I had to do it again tonight. So these things are just crazy all over the place. And uh, I can see one right over there. I need to get Steak down. He's headed for the peas. Get him out of there. My cucumbers. I like, uh, I'm happy with these now. I got started getting them trained to go up the, uh, the trellis here. That's kind of nice because once you... Once you show it where it is, boy, it just climbed right up there. So the second, th this one here on the, the second one here is doing really good. This guy over here still needs a little bit of TLC to get him where I want him to go. I actually uh, pruned him a little bit uh, yesterday. There was a there was a second uh, growing tip on him, but the problem was it was way back here, and. Uh, and then trying to get that thing trained over to the fence was going to be a pain in the ass. So I just cut it off and, 
and hopefully there will be more growing tips that you know, shoot off uh, off of this other piece here. So that's kind of my my thought anyway. I don't know if that's the right thought or not. But I kind of like the way these things uh, were planted. Um, you got these ones up here that was planted first that, you know, they're way ahead of everybody else. And, and it's just like you got two and two. So you got two that's doing great. You got two that's a little bit further behind. And then you got two that's even even farther behind. So probably going to have cucumbers still Christmas, I'm afraid. Of course, this watermelon. Good Lord. Remember how there used to be just one shoot going out there? Well, there it is. That's that original shoot that was coming out this way here. But now there's, oh, I don't know, five, six, maybe seven growing tips in there going out that way. So there was a straw, oh, don't break, Jesus, a watermelon where that stake is there. And uh, I noticed at lunchtime that it was, uh, it looked pretty ugly. When I reached down and grabbed a hold of it, it fell right off. So it tells me it didn't get fertilized. So I broke it open and it was all rotten inside. So it didn't get fertilized. That's kind of kind of what happens with with watermelon sometimes. They, they produce male and female flowers and they got to, and the female flowers are only open for like one day. And you got to get them just at the right time in the morning. So they don't get fertilized at the right time then they don't they don't grow and I don't know there's probably at least five or six stra uh, strawberries Jesus watermelon in there in that patch there somewhere and peas are doing pretty good so I'm trying oh wait, look at that there's a bloom I'll be damned I've just seen that about that got a bloom on there for the most part once you get these guys started climbing they they seem to do okay, but uh, by God, trying to get them started can be a pain in the butt. And I've still got this guy over here that does won't grab a hold where he's supposed to. Gonna have to work on him some more, I see. Ugh. But the rest of them, they're climbing up there the way they're supposed to. All right, so. Here's all my zucchini. This is all the crooked neck, uh, summer squash crooked neck here. One, two, three, four, five. That would have been six. This is probably the last one here. I don't know. I took out mistakes. I don't know where they stop now. <laughs> Surprise. But well, you'll know when they start growing if they're green or Zucchini, if they're yellow, they're summer squash. I guess that's why I took the stakes out. Didn't really matter. So mom was asking me if I'd have beans when you, you guys got here at the end of the month. And the answer to your question is, yes, I'll have beans. I ate one yesterday out of the garden. Oh, there's one right there. Just a, a little guy. But uh, a couple weeks. There's a couple more there. Oh, God, there's still kind of down in there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oops, I just pulled blossom off. Hmm. Yep, they like green beans. So this is that stringless variety that I got from Burpee, I believe it was. Uh-oh. What's this down here? Oh, you there. There. Oh goodness! Look at there. Hmm. I'm gonna be picking beans this week. Yep. I am. Won't be long. Look at these damn lamb's quarter. Oh yeah. There's all kind of beans in there now. Oh geez. Yeah, you guys better hurry up and get up here. Oh yeah. But hurry up. I'm gonna have them all eight before you get here. Mmm. 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 -hmm. These are the yellow beans. They don't look very yellow to me. It's kind of green.
Mm. I've got a mouthful now. And my peas. You know what? Even if these things don't produce anything, they sure are awful pretty. Sure add a nice color to the garden. Those pink and red flowers. Really, really nice. I'm surprised I haven't found any pods yet because... I mean, how long has these things been blooming? Two weeks? A week, anyway. Well, I know they were blooming before the hail storm, and the hail storm was last Tuesday. It was a week ago. So I know they've been blooming every bit of a week. Hmm. Down in here. Mm -hmm. These are a little bit further behind you. Hmm. Good. I, don't see any, I definitely don't see any peas there. Yep, I haven't got rid of that thistle yet. Hmm. Those are good beans. Oh, oh! I found peas. Here. Look here. Get down here. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. No. Oh, yeah. Look at all them bees. Just gotta get to the right place, it looks like. Oh, geez, look down here. I might want to uh, pay a little closer attention, it looks like. I guess it's a good way to find your, your peas. Take a nice uh, video and oh, my god, there they are. Hmm. Any more other than just that one little? Oh no, there's some down there laying on the ground. Boy, they're going to be hard to see. Hmm, that happens a little better. Hmm, guys are missing out. Better hurry up. I already ate before it gets in the house. Oh, there's a big bean there. That would be a uh, kidney bean. See, hanging out down there. Kidney bean. Well, I think we've made uh, the tour of the garden. About full now. Oh, shit, I see beans all over the place. Or not beans, peas. Well, I might be picking be uh, peas the end of the end of the week. Mmm. Oh, yeah. They're all down there next to the bottom. Great. Big guy there. Yep. I got peas. I got sweet peas, anyway. Okay. Well, I'm glad I took the video. Found my peas. I see I don't see any down here. Only ones I see was down at the other end of the garden. Interesting. Well, I guess you don't need to see me searching for peas, do you? Alright, we'll see you guys later.